You a basketball specialist, so I just got another side question for you. So this is my thing. The reason why I the reason why I think people like the guy from Denver, uh, Yoke, Yo, Yo, Jokic. 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 The reason why I feel like a lot of these players tend to do well, not not to take away anything from him, is because there's not a legitimate. Back when you played, it was seven feet or seven something, and then the next player was 6'10, 6'11. They have taken that 6'10, 6'11 player, and now he's 6'8 and he shoots threes. So I know they opened up the court, but mm -hmm. that's the reason why I personally feel that certain centers and certain players are doing well in the league because when they turn the corner, they're dealing with people like they used to play with in high school. Yeah. And they just absolutely too small. So therefore, it's like people like to me, I don't think Jokic would do as well if there was two seven footers on the court because once he turned that corner he got to deal with another one i so what is your what is your impression of that first of all we're gonna go real quick through the roller coaster of his joker emotions okay because he started out as a hater no wait a minute, he listen. saw joker destroy the fucking playoffs last year listen he gained did. respect for joker and now you're talking shit again no the reason why i'm <laughs> talking shit man no, live. no listen <laughs> it's not just him it's a lot of players like that that no Huh? No. Okay, let's hear it. Let's go. You play. You know better than me. He let's is go. One of the most unbelievable seven centers I've ever seen. Damn. When That's I what tell you, saying. when I tell Triple you, doubles the fuck every out of here. game. There's almost. no guarding him. He's either gonna go around you, and it, this is what I say. This is why I feel he reminds me of Larry Bird. He moves at his speed. That's and true. you can't keep up with his yeah. speed, <laughs> which is no speed in the whole idea of what speed is. He plays in a whole different environment. And like he said, he, he played in Serbia. When I played in Greece, you know, I, I come out. And you know, I don't, you know, I just finished playing on the Bulls. I'm feeling myself. I'm in shape. I just had a baby. You know what I'm saying? My wife stayed in America. It's about to be on. <laughs> I got the most money. I'm like, oh my God. It, I'm about to rule this whole all Europe is mine. And I went to a game and we're playing against Olympinacos in our gym. And they had to cut the in, in half. It was a, so imagine a football, uh, I'm sorry, soccer, and then put it around basketball. So in Greece, <laughs> oh, yeah. basketball is soccer. Right. Same fans. Right. Same mentality. Right. But closer together. They shot a flare gun <laughs> across the court. <laughs> I'm like this. Oh. <laughs> and they're like, they put it out. Oh, no, 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 they're doing all this stuff. And they That's shoot fun. one back across. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is during the game. <laughs> At the end of the game, they have to bring in this in all the military riot police. <laughs> That's the that Let is. them leave first because they have their own parking lot. Damn. They have to leave, and then the cops make sure they're gone, and then the next team. Like, this <laughs> this is what was happening. So I'm in agreement with him that he had to play basketball in a war mm. and win. Because if you don't win, we playing. I'm not going to say anything is fixed except basketball. But <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you that they – we were playing a game and we were up. I was like, yeah, coach, the timeout. I said, why are you calling a timeout? You don't, why do we call a timeout? Don't shoot anymore. What? Just, just play defense. Don't foul anybody. What? <laughs> Ten seconds ago, we up by three. They get the ball straight to the basket, throw a ball back in. They foul us. Dude misses the foul shots. They win. I'm like. What, what just fuck? happened? <laughs> like, I don't like losing. If if yeah. you and I right now was playing Skelly, which that's an old game, y'all would know. If we were playing anything, right. I don't like losing. Right. I'm like, this getting in the locker room. Dudes are drying off and putting their clothes on. I was like, y'all ain't going to shower? Like, <laughs> he was like, no, Sal, hurry up. And I go, I'm going to go shower. I go in the shower and turn it on. Water comes out of a hole. Hmm. <laughs> That's different. I dried my ass off, put my they were rocking our bus until we got to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting the bus, throwing things out. I was like, yeah. So imagine he had to learn to play in that, to come play 
In America. In America, where everything is foo foo. Yeah, can't. air conditioning. He so, is, I'm telling you, I watched him. That dude is bananas. It is, I, I cannot imagine. I couldn't imagine Shaq guarding him yeah. because Shaq didn't want to come out and Shaq don't like to be embarrassed and him throwing those passes and kicking back one leg and shooting. It, Shaq would be elbowing him and dunking, but down at the other side, he convinced the ref to make you foul him. He constantly would do something with his arms and all that go up under you like right. Steve Smith. He's so tricky. So uh, I... I so he the real deal. And he Joker, is really Joker's the real tough deal. though too. He ain't back. He wouldn't. It's not like he's a bitch and he's backing no. down from any player in no. any era. That no. motherfucker is strong. He gonna give you 25, 12, 10. So they back to back next year because they got the best team. I think Memphis, man, they got a shooting shooting chance. Memphis, ah, Memphis. they got a shot. They too. Y'all ain't hear what he's saying? <laughs> Y'all hear what he's saying? Come on. I had to get it in. <laughs> I had to get it in. So um, I have a question because you mentioned how it's tougher to play in Europe. Yeah. And now if you see the top Hold on, players, before we get too far, man, I can't let you get away uh, with just kind of throwing in there that nothing's rigged but basketball, and then <laughs> no, go, go back to and then go and then go away from that. Uh, cause hey, we told that wait, story. Wait, Alejandro say say what he gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. It's on your list. Everybody's wondering. My eyes watering because uh, I'm about to take you out. That's why I'm, I'm hydrating. <laughs> <laughs> but go on, Alejandro. Okay, so if you look at the NBA right now, anyway, hey, um, but we, no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Players under thirty, the top ones are from international. So would you say that the international game is taking over? Could it be that society in the United States are making people soft so the players don't have the same heart as the international players? Well, hip-hop started in the Bronx in 1973, Cool Herc. And now we have trill music in London. We got Burning Man mm. in, in, in Africa. We got uh, unbelievable female rappers out of Japan. Um, we got them out of South America. Uh, so what happens is we develop the culture. And then the culture, because of the, the way life is, it spreads out. Because there were players in the 80s that were unbelievable from Europe. And what happened is Nelly, Golden State, went and got Marcelonis. Um, they Who's bought, a beast. Yeah, they bought over. They started bringing over European players. But when we were playing the NBA, the European kids, if they had satellite, would sit up to 3, 4 o'clock in the morning to watch a game. So the game changed, and the NBA realized if they were going to be, if they were going to survive, they had to be international. So in 1990, we, the NBA played a game. First game was Utah against somebody else in Japan. I mean, in China. And they realized they were developing the China market and then bringing European players in. And because when you're in Europe, you're only allowed two, um, two Americans per team. So they, they, they figured out how to lessen it. But in the same thought, they developed and became better and better and better. When we played in the Olympics uh, in college, David Robinson, they were playing again and they lost. Um, uh, to Croatia, I think it was, they they were professionals already. Then the NBA was like, oh, you can't lose. And then we developed the dream team in 1992. So all of a sudden, now the pros were playing because we said in America before that you couldn't get paid. They said, no, we have to send the best athletes. So Europe was sending their best athletes. We weren't doing that time. We were sending over guys in college. Um, <clears throat> the dream team changed everything. When they went over, Charles Barkley was the mean American, picked his lane. Magic got Larry to play. Bird and, and Shaq should have been on that squad, but instead, you know, they went with Leckler, uh, Christian. It's just the NBA broadened its way, and it made it an international game. They, but the NBA is smart. They have NBA Africa. They don't have NBA Europe. They have NBA Africa. So they don't, so we're not destroyed as a lead. 
What I mean by that is if you start letting seven, seven guys who can jump 51 inches <laughs> with no sneakers on dirt into the NBA, it's going to. It's going to even change even more than it had. At one time, it was Akeem Olajuwon. It was uh, Manu uh, Bow. It was um, uh, Man Does Not Fly in the House of Mutombo. Uh, I have to say that before I say his last name because I can't remember it. No, they they were taking pieces. Gelo, Ginobili comes from Argentina, and we hadn't seen that. We hadn't seen this this Spanish kid from South America until the international team called San Antonio put it together. Um, even Tim Duncan is from St. Lucia or St. John, one of the Saints. Um, yeah, he's from the U.S. Virgin Islands. Right, so it, the NBA is smart enough in the 90s to realize, in the 80s, we're going to have to do this, and in the 90s, the Don, the smartest commissioner ever, Donald Stern, um, said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make it an international game. And they do different things different in Europe. I'm going to explain. Uh, Tony Parker played for his father, who was a pro coach, at 15. Mm. So when most kids are going to 10th grade, Tony Parker was getting a check. <laughs> and they uh, – my daughters speak French, right? We put them in lycée Francais, made them stay in it. So when they go to Europe, on the table is wine. In Italy, there's wine, there's champagne. They don't treat, they don't treat, they don't cuddle and treat kids like kids like. So they grow up faster, but with more structure. And so I just think the NBA wanting to be an international league is getting very close to that. To the point where soccer took the same idea. They brought Beckham over, and then after Beckham, they started moving it to the point where now Messi is playing in MLS. And they know it's a step down from right. playing right in the other leagues. But it's to develop an international soccer union. And that's what the NBA is doing. So soon it would be a world game. And the world championship will actually be the world yeah, championship. The in NBA, basketball. right. The right. NBA has to figure out how, okay, we'll go, these six teams are going on a European tour. And what, but the NBA also is keeping it inside the state. When they, when I first, I was on the first Toronto Raptor team, and we every day in the paper or every Wednesday, they would be a middle of the paper would show rules and what this means and what oh. when the ref is doing it. Like they were teaching basketball, and then the team left, the, um, the Grizzlies left and went to Memphis, right? Because the NBA was testing, can can we do that? Can we move to that? Um, so now with the NBA bringing back bringing a Vegas team and bringing back a Seattle team, you're still going to have to be in America to play. So they decided not to make it where they have teams out there. The teams are still going to be in the States and Canada, that just adjacent to one tunnel. Well, you guys are getting education. Now, back, 